Good morning, Sam. Are you on? Yes. You know, when I got on this morning, talking about um, eating, I think what I was trying to say, uh, weight loss comes in layers, like um, you, <laughs> you got to get your mind right, because the mind is ultimate that's the first thing that's everything if you don't have your mind right nothing gonna work so you gotta get it in your mind um this is what i'm gonna do and then after that take it slowly um i got people i'm looking at people um so you're slowly incorporating stuff into your diet. And so that point in time, it, it is a part of your weight loss program, but it's kind of like the warm up part. And that's where I am. And I know all these things. I'm not an expert, but I know this from myself, from actually doing it. Um, I've, I've lost weight tons of times. And this time will be no different. The only difference in whether you win or lose is whether you give up. So, it's a lot to this journey. You get to learn a whole lot, whole lot, whole lot. A whole lot about your own self. You get to be alone with your thoughts. Walking is something I love to do. Uh, my mother loved it too. But it, um, when, she, when she used to walk, people weren't walking yet. She was one of the starters because she had diabetes. And the doctor told her to walk. And so she walked in the wrong places. She walked through the hood. She walked through our neighborhood. I'm not from the hood. But what I mean is she walked through our black neighborhood. So, okay, for the white people that's listening, all areas, all communities with all black people in it is not the hood. Okay, so anyway, she walked through there and my father had died at that point. And boy, when my mother went walking and she come home, her skin was pretty. I mean, it was just unbelievably pretty. And I started here. I was only a teenager. And I started hearing my mother complaining about people bothering her on her walk, saying stuff, gossiping. So she asked me would I walk with her. And I said, yeah, and my antisocial ass. And um, I saw one of my frenemies from school wave at me. And I'm. My mother saw me, and she goes, my goodness, is that the best you can speak? And I wouldn't go walking with her after that. If you're getting ready to be judging me, I'm getting ready to be at home watching the soaps till you get back. And that's what I did. Wrong. So she started walking alone, and the people must have gotten to her, in my estimation. And she stopped walking. And then her health deteriorated. Um, she, uh, before she had started her program, her, her vices were Coca-Cola. And as when I was a little bitty girl, she used to send me to the store hit three times a day before my dad get home. Go, go around to the store and get me a Coke. And back in those days, that Coke was laced with cocaine, so I read. So anyway, and then that Coke also destroys your kidneys. So, um, I hate Coke, but I got some Coke in the refrigerator because when I get done writing this book, I have a celebration coming up, so 
and I should only be two days. Anyway, um, her health deteriorated and she died. She got on the, uh, oh, what do you call those machines? Dialysis. Back in those days, I forget what year it was. Um, once you get on a dialysis, ma dialysis machine, you did not have long to live. And a Seventh Day Adventist minister so gladly told me that. Anyway, um, so you, you know, I guess the point of this is, is we as black people are so mean to each other and we're so nice to white people. I had a friend uh, who owned some businesses and would go to the bank and there was this black girl in there. She was ever so pleasant to white people. She would be like, hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Oh, let me make sure I do this for you. And um, when my friend get to the front of the line, she a grunt, hey, what you want? He was like, where's my greeting? Anyway, um, we are mean to each other. And if we see each other doing something out of the ordinary, we automatically get mad. There's a girl, and I bet she's watching. There's a girl that I used to see in the gym. We used to work out together and everything. She was much more advanced than I, I was. And she would tell me she always watches my account of videos. And um, I told her, yeah, it's been a while because I've been working on, the, on my book. But she was like, Anybody can write if you can put a sentence together. It's up to you. Do you want to write? Just like losing weight. Anybody can lose weight. Are you willing to stick in there for the long haul? Anyway, um, I say it's, she, every time she sees me, I watch your videos. I watch your videos. And I'm like, okay, so why don't you like and subscribe? You know, that is so wrong. I, if I watch a video all the way to the end, I will hit like. And if I halfway like it, I'll subscribe. Tell me, y'all tell me is that silly to subscribe to something you don't like? Because I don't know. Um, I don't know if that affects your algorithms or whatever. I don't know a lot about computers, but I plan to learn during this pandemic. But anyway, um, yeah. <coughs> we are so mean to each other. And I think something that would help would be if we learned our history and learn from the old, 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 old heads from the 1800s who wrote books. <laughs> who is that black guy that was the first one to graduate from Yale, not Harvard? And then he wrote a book and he had said that, it slipped in my mind just that easy because I'm so anxious to say it because it's so true today. Uh, I am going to look that up when I get home and I'm going to post it. But anyway, we've got to learn. This guy predicted the shape we would be in right now and we are in it. I think it was something, something along the lines of what I'm talking about. They, they love the white people so much. The one who brutalized you and raped you. Ooh. And, um, just want to be accepted. 
you want to be accepted by people, by savages? Is that who you want to be accepted by? We got to first learn to love ourselves and then it'll help us to love each other. Just look at your own self and answer this question. How quickly do you get an attitude when you see a black person? What are your initial thoughts when you look at a black person? What are your thoughts when you see a white person? I've got somebody really, really close to me who says, well, first of all, she's gay and she's got a white girlfriend. Oh, look at her, isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? She's sitting right there. You don't say that about a man or a woman. You don't put nobody up higher than yourself. And once you start, I mean, going to the gamey part, once you start, um, once you start fawning, all over people, they're gonna pay you less respect and they're gonna use you because they say you're in love with me and your nose wide enough to run a train through and I'm getting ready to run it. And this girl does just that. She comes when she wants to, she leaves when she wants to. And when she leaves, the girl that's close to me just cries but she never wakes up. She keeps taking the same girl back. And it's very sad. Very, very, very sad. That's a person who hates themselves. That's a person who don't know herself. That's a person who don't know her history and don't know shit. Uh, uh, just had to get that freaking stuff off my chest. I'm sorry for cursing y'all. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Anyway, um, please like and subscribe right down there. And let me know what you think about this subject. All right, bye.